2015 was the year of flooding here in Charleston and heading into 2016, the city of Charleston has prepared a plan on how to begin to address some of those flooding issues. News 2's Macy McLeod joins us in the studio with more. Macy, what did you find out about their plan? Carolyn, it is predicted the sea level will rise two to seven feet in Charleston over the next 100 years. And it is predicted Charleston could experience 180 days of tidal flooding in the year 2045 if nothing changes. So the city has released a plan for some initiatives to begin tackling this problem now. One major component of this plan hinges on the completion of drainage improvement projects already in the works, like the $154 million spring fish burn project expected to be complete in 2020 and the $30 million Market Street project expected to be complete in 2018. It also calls to raise the elevation of streets already impacted by tidal flooding, specifically Lockwood Boulevard, Main Road, Central Park Road, Morrison Drive, and Murray Boulevard. The strategy also calls for the buyout of properties that flood repeatedly and for better response when floods do happen by installing flood gauges in repetitive flood areas to send resources as soon as they're needed. It also calls for a formal flood parking plan to prevent vehicle loss. And there is a request for two new positions within the city for a chief resiliency officer who would coordinate internal efforts and communication and for a full-time floodplain management job focused on mitigation projects. The city says it is concerned about the economic impact of flooding. In 2009, it was estimated that each major flooding event cost the Charleston community $12.4 million. And for a complete look at the sea level rise strategy, you can head online to countonto.com. Macy McLeod, News 2. All right, Macy, very interesting information there. And Mayor-elect John Tecklenburg's plan as mayor of Charleston, he specifically mentioned supporting the completion of current drainage projects and the need to develop a plan to mitigate the damage from sea level rise.